an increase in your energy and alertness again, even though adenosine has been building up for the entire night. Now, why is that? The reason that is, is because there's a second force which is governing when you sleep and when you're awake. And that force is a so-called circadian force. Circadian means about a day or about 24 hours. And inside all of us is a clock that exists in your brain and my brain and the brain of every animal that we're aware of that determines when we want to be sleepy and when we want to be awake. Just think about it. We don't go through the day wanting to fall asleep every 30 minutes and then feeling like we're wide awake. Our sleep and our period of sleepiness tends to be condensed into one block typically one six to 10 hour block, although there's also variation in terms of how much people want to sleep. And we're going to discuss how you can diagnose your absolute sleep need, as well as how to recover sleep that you've lost. That block of sleep and when it falls within each 24 hour cycle is governed by a number of different things. But the most powerful thing that's governing when you want to be asleep and when you want to be awake is light. And in particular, it's governed by sunlight. Now, I can't emphasize enough how important and how actionable this relationship is between light and when you want to sleep. It's quite simple on the face of it, and it's quite simple to resolve, but people tend to make a big mess of this whole circadian literature, frankly. So let's just break it down from the standpoint of what's going on in your brain and body as you go through one 24-hour day. Let's start with waking. So regardless of how well you slept at night or whether or not you were up all night, most people tend to wake up sometime around when the sun rises. Maybe not right at sunrise, but within an hour or two or maybe three of sunrise. Now I realize there are night shift workers and there are people traveling and experiencing jet lag where this is not gonna be the case. We are gonna deal with jet lag and shift work at the end of this podcast. But for most people, we tend to wake up about the time that the sun is rising or so. And as we do that, adenosine levels tend to be low if we've been asleep for reasons that you now understand. And our system generates an internal signal that is in the form of a hormone. Now I've talked a lot about neuromodulators and neurotransmitters. I haven't talked a lot about hormones yet on this podcast. 